Hello do-it-yourselfers. Today we are painting the trim called the skirt board that is next to carpeted stair treads. The first step is to tape off the carpet in a manner that compresses the carpet pile. We do this so that when we are done the carpet fluffs back up and everything looks perfect. Run the tape up onto the trim about a quarter inch so that when you press it down with the putty knife it wraps around the outside of the carpet nicely protecting and compressing it. We can use tape like this next to any trim we want to paint, be it a door casing, door jam, baseboard, so that the paint gets low enough and when we're done, everything looks great. Next, we will be applying the first coat of paint or primer. An oil-based primer is needed to properly bond to the stained trim unless you are using Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Enamel. The urethane enamel does take a few weeks to fully cure, however its bond to any surfaces, including your skin, is top notch and doesn't require primer unless there are stains coming through your first coat, in which case you can spot prime with an oil-based stain blocking primer. The first coat reveals that ugly gap between the woodwork and the wall, so we will be caulking it. When caulking, apply an even bead and then with a clean, damp finger, wipe the bead, smoothing it out and removing the excess. Always smooth caulk with your finger. Please do not run your bead and just leave it. It looks so bad. The first coat and the caulking are done, so now is the time to check for any bleed or staining coming through. This can happen if the polyurethane or varnish has started to wear away, allowing the stain to bleed through the paint. This can also happen if your kids took Sharpie or pen to your trim work. If everything looks good, then we will be applying second and third coats. In the video, the second coat has just been finished and is looking pretty good, so we are moving on to the third and usually final coat. When painting wood trim like this, always apply your brush strokes in the direction of the wood grain. Also use a light and gentle touch for better coverage. If you use too much pressure with your paintbrush, it pulls a lot of the paint back off, which may end up causing you to need an extra coat. When finishing up an area, it is ideal to also end with a long, smooth, and straight brush stroke so there aren't any marks from pulling your brush off the trim. Here I am also using a Purdy Nylox brush, which is very soft, allowing for a smoother finish and better coverage with each coat. The last step is to remove the tape. To do this, pull the tape away from the skirt board first. Do not just lift up, which can cause the paint to pull away from your trim. Be gentle during this process. Also, if any paint has dried to both the tape and the trim, potentially use a putty knife to break it away from the trim prior to pulling the tape to prevent any issues. In this video, the paint wasn't fully dry, so that was not a concern. Once the tape is pulled away and separated from your freshly painted trim, you can pull it up off the carpet. Somehow one little carpet fiber got a little paint on it. Use a utility knife and cut away the tip of that one little piece and problem solved. Level up your house.